a global brain drain? You might want to sit down for this. IQ scores are dropping, not just in the US, but in Norway, Denmark, the UK, France, Australia. The whole brain trust is glitching. This phenomenon, it's called the reverse Flynn effect, a fancy way of saying, hey, that steady IQ rise we enjoyed for decades? Yeah, it's now in reverse. So, why is this happening? Let's unpack the mess. Environmental changes. Studies, like one from Norway, link the IQ drop to shifts that started after 1975. Education systems changed, society changed, and apparently, our brains noticed. Screens, screens everywhere. Our thumbs might be faster, but our critical thinking? Not so much. Over-reliance on tech, especially AI tools, is quietly starving our memory and problem-solving muscles. Standardized testing. We're training kids to pass tests, not think freely. Goodbye abstract reasoning. Hello multiple choice fatigue. But wait, is this really about intelligence? Quick reality check. IQ tests only measure a slice of intelligence. Creativity, emotional depth, and survival instincts are not on the scantron. Some researchers argue what we're seeing isn't a true brain drain, but a shift in what's being measured, and how we're taught to think. How do we fight back? Here's how we can pump some mental iron. Read like your brain depends on it. Because it does. Do puzzles, solve problems, think out loud. Use technology, don't be used by it. Make your phone a tool, not your babysitter. And for educators and parents, push for schools that value creativity, reasoning, and emotional intelligence, not just test scores. It's not everywhere. Brick nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, are still seeing IQ gains. That tells us this isn't a global collapse. It's a regional issue tied to development stages, educational systems, and lifestyle habits. It also means we still have time to turn this around. Final word. The decline in IQ scores doesn't mean humans are getting stupid. It means we need to rethink how we educate, engage, and evolve. Let's stop outsourcing our thinking and start building mental muscle again. Read, question, create, challenge because the brain is a terrible thing to waste, especially on infinite scroll. If you made it this far, congratulations. Your attention span is still intact. Now do your brain a favor. Like, share, and drop your favorite brain-boosting activity in the comments. Let's get smarter together.